okay, can I just say everything you've heard about Bentonville, Arkansas is legit. Hey guys, welcome to MTB Over 40. Thanks for checking out this video. Okay, so you've probably heard and seen it all about Bentonville, Arkansas, right? It is the mecca of mountain bike riding. I mean, there's trails literally built inside the town. I mean, how, how cool is that? And if you've been watching mountain bike videos concerning Bentonville, you know there's a ton of content. Everybody has been doing videos for a good reason. It is such a cool place. I mean, Brian from BKXC was out there. He spent like weeks in Bentonville and did a ton of videos. Rich Drew actually lives there. He's got his ride series. He does all kinds of videos, learning and teaching. And of course he highlights the video, the trails there in Bentonville. So you've seen it all, right? This video is not gonna be much different. However, this was our first time, me and four buddies, got together, we decided to make our pilgrimage to Bentonville, Arkansas, because it's our first time, and we had a blast. We arrived for the bike fest on a Thursday afternoon. I was not even expecting to do much. I mean, it was an eight and a half hour drive for us. We left super early in the morning. We got there mid-afternoon, and I just wanted to chill. But the other guys had something else in mind. They wanted to go check out the trails. Unfortunately, I didn't grab my GoPro. I don't know why I didn't but we went ahead and we checked some stuff out. I only had a small clip of Steve and Jason, uh, you know, coming off of this ramp and that was it. That was it of the first day. Um, but we had a blast. We checked out All American, rode around All American, uh, which is a great, that's such a cool place because it, the trails literally weave in and out of a greenway. But we rented this house, it was an Airbnb, and it was only like a mile from the town. I mean, how cool was that, just to be able to just ride from the house into town. We could ride to the bike fest from there, we could ride and hit All-American and a couple in Slaughter Pen. A fellow Fazari enthusiast, Norm Nielsen, he's actually the uh, Fazari race team manager. Yay, we're gonna ride with Rich Drew this morning. He's gonna show us around. And so that alone was just a huge surprise. So thanks to Norm for hooking that up and Rich for taking the time to kind of hang with some guys that he doesn't know. And, and uh, yeah, just to show us, uh, show us around Kohler. So it was awesome. So the first thing we hit in Kohler was Thunderdome. And Thunderdome is a dual slalom trail. It's a it's all downhill. Super fun, super short. You can session it over and over. My first time down was racing Norm, and of course he blew me away because he had already ridden that and I hadn't. But it was still fun. Such a so good place. Smooth. Great berms. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was sick, man. Me and Michael hit it the second time. Uh, Michael, if you've seen from my other videos, rides a giant hardtail, super light bike, but we were, it was so fun because we were like neck and neck almost the whole way. Whoa. Dude, we were so neck and neck. I know, right? When you first get to Kohler, you got to hit Thunderdome. Morning. All of this is rollable. You don't have to take it at full speed. Anybody from beginning to advance can really take this and, and shred it. After Thunderdome, we continued on and hit Family Flow. This is a green trail, super easy, but also super fun. You can really get some air off some of the jumps, 
and it's it's just a steady downhill super cool gotta hit it because especially if you've got riders that are um beginning or even intermediate i mean it's still a fun trail to hit and it's right there right after thunderdome so it's worth worth to climb up to go get it oh is that a double Family Flow ends the same area where Thunderdome ends, and so we had to climb back up, but we didn't climb totally up. We wanted to hit Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny is a tech trail. It is, it is considered double black, definitely challenging. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, also, uh, my stomach began to become challenging as well. Dry, feel a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm feeling sick in my stomach. <laughs> After just a little bit of, of going up and over those rocks and the jarring of that trail, my stomach just was just not treating me well. <laughs> we had pizza the night before. It was time for payback, I guess. So starting to have to hike a lot of that stuff. I'm just so gassed. Uh, I rode as much as I could, but everybody was gracious and, uh, you know, would wait up for me. It was still fun, though. I think my stomach being regular and, and just feeling a little bit better on the bike, I think I think uh, I would have really enjoyed that. Just getting going. Yeah. We even got to watch Rich uh, do a couple of uh, little um, Instagram videos where he shows you know how he would ride some of that stuff. So that was really cool to see up close and personal. After Here's Johnny, we got back on the Greenway and we headed towards the meetup place, the coffee shop. It's it's an amazing. It's, you can only get there by hiking or biking. It was such a cool treat. Uh, we kind of cooled off a little bit, rested up. Super neat to see all that. From there, Rich had to take off, but the rest of us continued up Copperhead Road. And Copperhead Road uh, leads up to the main hub in Kohler. That's where you can access lots of different downhill trails. There's Flow, there's Chunk. When we got up there, we hit Fireline Trail. And Fireline Trail is this super flowy uh, downhill run. It's got everything. It's got berms, it's got jumps, it's got doubles. It's got a, a like a little wood um, feature where you just kind of ride off and then you can just you know send it and just land on a, on a great lander. Um, that was super fun, had a good time. Yeah. The guys uh, did a couple other runs on different trails, but I just kind of took it easy on that on that run, uh, just, just to kind of just wait till my stomach settled. Nice, dude. After all that from the hub, it was getting late. We decided we we're gonna hit some dinner, so we take Oscar Loop all the way back down to the Greenway. There were even some surprises on Oscar Loop. I love there was this little kind of like rocky, uh, flowy, bobsled-like kind of trail. It was kind of fun. I uh, really enjoyed that. It's like bobsled. But there was more. <laughs> the day wasn't over. Um, we decided to get some lunch, kind of chill out, and we went back to the bike fest because Rich had another surprise for us. So we show up at the bike fest and where Rich had his trailer and everything, and there was this huge, like, like army-sized vehicle, like a transporter or something like that. Uh, that was an actual shuttle bus, had a bike rack on the back, it was amazing. This is Shoreline Shuttles, and they run these shuttles uh, periodically in Bentonville and also in other places, I think, around the Ozarks. So um, Rich was just like, load up. We're going to hit some more trails. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I know. I saw it when I came in. You know what the raddest thing We're at riding the bike. bike fest is? What's happening right here? We got in, and... We were even surprised even more with some swag. We got some uh, some headbands from from Junk. They just drive us downtown, and so we got to see downtown from the Shoreline Shuttle, and it was an amazing experience. So fun. 
So the shuttle takes us a little bit north of town and the first thing we hit is Leopard Loop. And Leopard Loop is a paved trail, super fun, super flowy. It's got doubles, it's got jumps, it's got uh, a couple gaps that I didn't hit, but really, really fun. A good place to really just session over and over and over. The climb up is, is just a regular trail. Even that's pretty fun because it's got a skinny that, that seems to last forever. Um, but you can take that back to the head and just do it over again. It was so fun. Of course, it's always fun to, to follow Drew, such an experienced rider. And, and, and even then, he still gives you tips and tricks. And he kind of just makes sure that you have a fun experience on any trail. Pump, um, yeah, you can roll, roll. You can double, double. Uh, if you want to get a little spicy, you can try to Manuel. <laughs> and that's what I loved about him guiding us through these different places around Bentonville. So the next thing we hit is we just kind of ride just a little bit on a paved road and then on uh, some sidewalks and then we get to Hammer Down. Hammer Down is, again, it's just an awesome, there's not much you're going to find in Bentonville that's not great. Rich was really giving us the highlights and Hammer Down did not disappoint. It's this kind of flows into this ravine but it's so well made it's got a mixture of, of flow and chunk um, but it's got some great jumps some gaps some doubles and it all ends with just a step up and you can do a smaller step up or a larger step up uh, I took two chances I did the smaller one the first time and I did the, tried the, the larger one the second time. Of course, didn't clear it, but it was still super fun to take. And then Rich surprised us by doing a couple of uh, run-throughs on certain parts to show us how he rode it. And that was, that was crazy. You know, of course, it's a little bit of showing off. But, I mean, when you got those skills, I mean, why not? Right? It's still fun. Still fun to see it up close and personal. So after Hammer Down, we rode out back to All-American, and from there you can pick up a trail called Boo Boo, take that up, and then from that there's a little hub that you can take a couple different trails, and one of them was called Rim Trail, and at that point when I got back to the hub, my stomach just, oh, it was rearing its ugly head again, and I said, oh, I'm thinking I'm just going to sit this out because it was a black trail, wasn't really sure how well, I'd be able to take it, and so I decided to sit it out. The rest of the guys took it, and we just met up at the end and ended that day. After all that, Rich surprised us yet again and treated us to a round of drinks and appetizers over at the Hub. The Hub is, uh, is just a gathering for food and drinks, and people can hang out. Just could not believe what was happening to us i mean none of this was planned uh yeah just super super excited that that norm and rich just really made our trip by doing all this for us it was so cool all right jason day three what are we hitting uh the bed the we're bed. tired <laughs> No, it's good. We're going to Slaughter Pen, baby. Slaughter Pen. I'm uh, rocking the new Hand Up Summer Gloves. Yep, they're here at the festival. Both Jason shred, and I. Shred till you're dead. Got the summer gloves. Nick got a pair too. Take he actually care, got. Baby. He actually got the pair I got on order. I'll get those uh, when I get home. Do I got it? Klein Steve got a pair of Hand Ups. Yeah, baby. Woo! Supporting local. Here we go. I forgot to mention that. My audio sounds a little different on this trip it's because the clip on my Rode Wireless Go 2 receiver broke and have no way of attaching it to my my uh, media mod, GoPro media mod. So I am just running off the media mods microphone, which isn't bad. We just literally Not rode bad. from the house and went all the way up the greenway, all the way out the slaughter pen. So fun. This was a chance to kind of hit those uh, skill areas. I only worked myself up to the middle drop. That third drop, the drop didn't worry me. It was just the, the, the step up gap, oh, yeah. I guess is what you call it, onto it. Um, our friend Steve, he hit it. 
did it. It was so cool to watch him do it. He's much more advanced than the rest of us, so I didn't feel bad <laughs> about not doing it. Um, and neither did the other guys. Oh, yeah. We decided we were going to meet up with Norm and Judd Williams, who's a, also a Fazari ambassador, uh, after all that. We decided we were going to go back to Kohler and we we're going to ride Cease and Desist. Now, Cease and Desist is a black trail. It's got the road, or road gaps and gap jumps in the middle of it. I, of course, was not intending to hit any of that, but once we got to drop the hammer, we decided to just have a little fun yeah, and just better. film some people hitting that. I know Norm and Judd hit it. And of course, our friend Steve could not be there without trying it out. And so he did, he did a great job. The rest of us took way too long deciding. I decided not to do it. It was, it was definitely gonna be the largest drop I've ever taken. Did the other drop on what comes after. It's just a log drop, which was really smooth, really easy. And I really thought about doing the one after that. I think could totally have done it. Um, it's kind of an in-between. Uh, it's a little smaller than the than drop the hammer, um, but a little bit larger gap than the the log drop. But I decided, well, you know, that's something that I can save for the next time I come to Bentonville, right? We kind of rested a little bit, went back to the house, kind of chilled out, and then we decided to go to Huntley. And Huntley is about 20 minutes away from the town area, uh, but it's a great place. It's got several downhill area trails that you can hit. It's got some session areas. All right, you ready? Yep. We're gonna session some jumps here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you were kidding. You weren't kidding. First thing we do oh, is hit shock and all, just the first couple tables. And we just kind of did that over and over and over. Nice. Cleared the second one. Oh yeah. Woo, Woo baby. And then we rode over once the rest of the guys kind of got back and we met up all together again. We decided that we're going to hit air raid and just kind of session. There's uh, when, when you do air raid, there's an initial drop and then there's two tables that you can hit and then you can bail out. And that's what we did. We just kept doing that over and over and over. And, and at first I was casing both those tables, but as we kept doing them over and over, uh, it was so fun to to see the progression and see um, how I could find my speed and then find how much I need to pop the bike, um, you know, up off the lip and and clear them. And that was so great because we were all doing it at the same time. It was so fun. We just don't always have that around where we live in Nashville. Those types of trails where you can just do that over and over. It was, it was first of us, all five of us, and then slowly but surely it just whittled down to just the Fazari guys, me, Steve, and Jason. And we were just doing that over and over. And because uh, we were just having so much fun. I mean, why not? You're in Bentonville, soak it up as much as you can. Yeah. Okay. That was it. You got it? That was it. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I landed a little back heavy the second time, but that's all right. That's all good. All right, so we're at the top at uh, BOC, and this is the view we have. Look at this. We're gonna be going down all of this. We're about, we're about what, 2,300 elevation? Yeah, we're gonna drop 1,000 feet. Drop 1,000 feet, six miles. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Can't wait. Let's do it. So Sunday, this is our last full day in Bentonville and we decided to go to BOC. So BOC is about two hours outside of Bentonville. It's in Ponca, Arkansas, and it's a great little place. It's free to ride, but if you want a shuttle, uh, you can pay for the shuttle and it'll shuttle you up and down. There's a few different trails that you can take. Riding for as long as we had, we decided we're just going to do the blue trail. We're just going to do it once and took the blue line. And the blue line was challenging enough. I mean, once we started down, 
it was it, it the cool thing about it is that it's it's a varied trail like you're going to experience all different types of terrain when you ride this not so much flow but the flow part is very gravelly very loose so if you're used to that um, then you should be fine but it was a little bit more loose than what we're used to when we started off it was great it was chunk it was uh, you know pretty much downhill did not have to pedal hardly at all um, unfortunately though about a mile into our ride Michael gets a puncture. I think your bike gets more screen time on my videos than mine does. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a government operation. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. It's... Push, push, push. Unfortunately, all the attempts to fix Michael's rear tire failed, and he was going to have to hike back up to the beginning of the trail with his bike and he was gonna meet us back down at the main station. So it was sad that we could not ride with Michael, but he was really encouraging and, and encouraged for all of us to go ahead and finish the trail. As I said, it was pretty rocky for a while, and probably about for another mile, maybe mile and a half. This was totally, uh, all in all, this was a six mile trail, so it was long. <laughs> As we got further and further down, the trail condition or the trail type started to change. It changed more into a, just a regular regular trail, not as techy, not as rocky. Right and that was fun. We could get some, a little bit of speed on it, and yeah, it was a good time. But then slowly and surely, as we get going further down, further and further down, it became gravelly, yep. loose. At first it was a loose over hard, but then it just was just loose. It was all gravelly. And especially for Jason, I, and Nick, we were not really uh, comfortable riding that type. It was still fun. You can get to, you know, where we could see the trail and, and, you know, could see that we could, you know, let off the brake a little bit, we'd, we'd get some speed. But, but yeah, it was still challenging. I'm riding this blind and I have no idea what to expect. Whoa, dude, I just pulled a Dukes of Hazard back there. This is so loose. Ooh. Exposure. I guess you could. These are to Eventually get to all that downhill. downhill came to an end and then we had to pedal back up to get out of the trail system. It wasn't that long. It was probably about half to three quarters. I don't think it was a mile of pedaling uphill. I'd say it was less than that. But once you get to that point, then you hit this Jeep road and then you can just really just have a ball and just kind of just let off the brake and just sail down this Jeep road. And then eventually it comes to another trail. You can branch off. You can either take that, that, that Jeep road all the way to the main road and take the main road back to the, the main hub or the main parking area, or you can just, there's a trail that splits off of it. And that trail eventually leads you right into the parking lot. So after BOC, we hooked back up with Michael, we got him a new tire, and we decided to end the day, our last full day, back at All-American. Okay. And as I said before, All-American is super fun. I didn't film it the first time we hit it, the first day we arrived, but this time I did. And it was a blast. There's so many things you can do on this trail. It's got, you know, it's just got everything. You can it, it, it kind of winds in and out of the greenway and then you got all these little skill things that you can do uh, right there on the trail 
So it's got some, not what, not really like skinny skinnies, but you know, some some rock skinnies, some wood skinnies that you can you can hit, um, some whale tails. Uh, it has berms. It has a couple jumps. I mean, everything. It's so fun, and it led down to this one table that we just love to hit. There was like a there was like a little gap jump right before it, and you just kind of sail that in and we just yeah. hit, kept hitting this table over and over and over it felt so good to to clear it Dude, after all the so stuff good. we did at Huntley um, to come back to here and clear that table with ease really and that gap jump with ease um, it was just so fun it's so fun to, to to see your progression so after doing that several times, we decided to continue on the greenway and go back up to uh, Boo Boo, with that green trail that goes up, and we hit Choo Choo. Which Choo Choo is really cool because it's this paved, like just, just this, just kind of like a bobsleddy, just all berms, and you can just kind of get. We, you know, I wasn't used to it. I didn't know what to really expect. It was my first time riding it, and I was really surprised by the speed that you can get on this. But but the speed is kind of important. You kind of need that to oh carry you through the berms, uh, which I didn't really do. Um, it was still fun. I would love to have hit it again, but the sun was getting low and we decided, oh okay, we need to hit you know a couple of other things before we, we call it quits. So we pedaled back up Boo Boo, back to that little riser area where you could go to a couple different trails and we did hit Rim Trail, which I didn't hit before when we rode with Drew. That was a ton of fun. It's a black trail, super fun, chunky, but it's all down. So you you, know, you just you basically just you know send it down, off weight your front, and just kind of yeah, it was so much fun. There you have it. That's kind of the highlight of our trip in Bentonville. I mean, we could not have even imagined we would have had this much fun experiencing this many trails, being able to be shown around by Rich Drew, getting some swag, hitting the bike fest. I mean, there was just so much going on, so much we didn't even have the ability to do. So there's tons to do once we go back. I hope to make this an annual trip, if not biannual trip. If you're at all on the fence about going to Bentonville, just do it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. It's good food, good trails, good place. You can't go wrong. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video about Bentonville. If you like what you saw, please give a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do so now and hit that bell notification. It lets me know that you appreciate the content I'm creating. Until the next time, live, learn, and send it. It's never too late. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. That sound. This is a broken e-bike. This is a bro <laughs> broken e-bike. This is Jason's rear tire after he did a case on a gap jump. He's riding purely on push core. Because we cannot fill fill a tire. We're putting push core to the test.